New England IPA, IPA. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Steve. So today we have the side-by-side -side of our small batch smash citra beers. Mm -hmm. uh, the ones on our left are the ones using raw two row. The ones on our right are using the Maris Otter. So Steve brewed the Maris Otter, I brewed the raw two row. Mm -hmm. If you haven't watched any of the other videos in this series, I would go back and watch those. Because we might not talk as much about everything we talked about in there. Yeah. So, color, New England IPA, IPA. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It's, uh, they're both kind of hazy. Obviously, the Maris Otter is, like, like you said, right. New England hazy. <clears throat> and we do think that's from the actual Maris Otter grain. Mm -hmm. So, we will be able to tell upcoming... Because Steve will continue to use Maris Otter. I'll continue to use RAR. And if they continue to be hazy, you might want to try making a New England IPA with Maris Otter. Yes, I think you'll be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's smell them and see. So mine's got more of that up front. Same smell. Yeah. I would say mine's stronger. Smelling. Um, you disagree? Or, yeah, no, no I, I think it's right on. It smells like a juicy fruit. Um, this one smells a little bit more sweeter. Mm -hmm. And that juicy fruit is almost in your face. Where this one isn't as sweet. And the juicy fruit is like way down. It's, yeah, it's down. <clears throat> there, right? And we did dry hop we three dry days... Hop into fermentation yeah we have the same fermenters same we have the same yeast same yeast <laughs> same hops same hops same <laughs> so pretty much everything. okay taste it's there it is you can you can tell it hits you yeah i mean It just cleared everything out. <laughs> it's thicker. It, it the is. body's smoother. Mm -hmm. And again, these are smash beers, so it's single malt, single hop. Yep. This one, I would say there's um, oatmeal. Yeah, it's. I think the warmer it gets too, the <laughs> yeah. more the, it's the thicker. oak. Yeah, the, <laughs> the grain flavor starts to come out. Yeah, because of definitely. That, because of that, I'd say this has a stronger hot taste. Yeah, it, yeah. This is almost, I, I don't want to say vegetal, but it's hoppier. Mm -hmm. Like, like oh, a hoppy taste. Maybe, which I've never done, but it makes me think about if you took one of those pellets and put it on your tongue, mm -hmm. that's kind of what you're that's getting a, out of that. Yeah. Which I'm not shocked by because, A, this one's, it's getting warmer. Um, so you're going to get a little more flavor out of it as mm -hmm. far as the, the grain. But then the, the way the grains work on this one, I mean, that's why people love Maris Otter is for stouts, browns, and right. whatnot. Is because you get that grainy taste to it versus... You know, the, the two row, you get, it's, it's, it's gonna, a lot lighter. Right. It's, it's going to let more of those hops shine. Yeah. And if there's something off in those hops, You'll know. <laughs> or depending on when you put them in the boil, mm -hmm. could get you something different. Yeah. So. i say this is a, a friendlier brewing grain, right? It'll correct. hide some stuff. Yep. This leaves you out a little exposed. But do, I, I don't want people to think that this is like grainy. No, 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 no. It's not. It's, there is some grain, but it's sweeter, juicy, fruitier. <laughs> the, this one tastes like there's more than just citra. Yeah. And again, it through the whole entire process, this only has one ounce of citra. Mm -hmm. So you could scale this, I think, 
up, you'd have to go, it might be five ounces total, wouldn't it? Or at least four and a half. It would be weird because when we first started doing this and I was screwing around with it, what I did was one ounce at 60, one ounce at 10, one ounce dry hop. Okay. And then I started and scaling, scaling back, back but Beersmith was like red, red, red for the IBUs. <laughs> <clears throat> so that's You're what like, I hold had, on a minute. Right. <laughs> that's what I had to pull back because technically if you wanted to do something like that to see how it turned out, if you just wanted to use the three packets, mm. uh, my guess is it would be 0. 0.33, 0. 0.33, 0. 0.34, let's just say. Mm. Um because it doesn't scale like you think it does. Yeah. Because it's, it's three funny. ounces to one ounce. So that's like, if you're going five gallons to one, that's not a five to one ratio. Mm -mm. So you, if you're going to do this, you almost have to get the IBUs at five gallons what you want. And then dial it back and then play with the hops. If you don't want to waste more than say... Uh, an ounce of hops yeah that's the hard thing when we were i was setting this up too is to get i don't want to use 1.23 ounces and, and waste yeah the rest. yeah so and that's why i did it like i did it so we could get one and this is good mm -hmm. yeah I, I I would like to see what this has because usually in New England IPAs people like to use honey wheat malt yeah and put that in there but I don't know if you would want to do that with Maris Otter it's since it's a sweet no. yeah it's a sweet beer mm -hmm. so do you want to add more sweetness but I think this is definitely one we would want to try like Galaxy Mosaic Simcoe and Citra all in one and see if we can break the bank making a 1.25 gallon beer <laughs> oh god <laughs> yeah no I, I think it's good I'd, I'd love to scale this one up and just see what happens right uh, as a smash yeah yeah and this is 7.14 percent this is 5.9 percent yeah so they are off and i would go with this one all day yeah this one's high this one's low <laughs> so we need to come somewhere yeah. in between but yeah, it's it's a good beer. Um, I usually prefer Maris Otter, anyways. Right. Even though it's a little more expensive. Um, yeah, because you're looking for uh, ten pounds of raw two row. It's ten bucks for ten pounds of Maris Otter. It's fifteen bucks. Yeah. <clears throat> Which, if you spread that over five gallons, you know it's a dollar extra. Right. Yeah. So if you if depending on what the ABV is. You would spend fifteen dollars to make a gallon or five gallons of Maris Otter versus ten dollars of Rorturo. Yeah. Just use the whole thing, do your hops, and call it a day. I pay a dollar extra every day. Yeah. <laughs> so, but the the other thing, I think this one mm -hmm. is warming up faster than this one. It is. It is, and um, I think some of the reason I don't know how long yours have been in the fridge. Mine was only in for a day. Oh, Hopefully. a day okay. and a I half. put mine in Saturday because okay. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I got mine in Sunday evening okay. or Sunday afternoon. So, yeah. So yours have been in a little longer. Right. And then I did have to travel. So Yeah. And we did it first. But, no, I agree. I, I think the flavor has changed slightly, but it's still good. This one, what is it, 58 I, IBUs? Mm-hmm doesn't drink like it this one drinks like it's 58 ibus yes i would agree with that <laughs> yeah yeah because i was just thinking about that because usually new england ipas are on the lower side i like to see new england ipas around 30 to 40 ibus because you don't want that much bitterness this doesn't this pass yeah there's lactose in here there's not that much hops it's all dry hop which we know that's not true but this one tastes more like an IPA that's not balanced. It's more on the hop side mm -hmm. than it is the sweeter malt or grain, whatever you want to say, toasted bread to make it a traditional IPA. Yeah, I agree with that. Cool. Cool. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Steve. Happy brewing. See you next time.